Hey everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice and welcome to your October monthlies. Hope you're doing well. Right, I'm going to be doing individual signs this month and I'm going to need your input if you want me to keep doing individual signs for each month. Please interact with the videos, let me know, comment, let me know, like the videos, share, subscribe if you haven't. Okay, that'll give me some good feedback because I'm on a pretty tight schedule. Um, but if it's something that you really enjoy and you find beneficial, I will make that effort for you, okay? So just let me know. And this is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, wherever you have Cancer in your chart, you could resonate with the reading. If you're cross-watching for a Cancer, you could resonate. Just take the messages as they make sense to you. Don't force anything to fit and always watch all your placements. And all that being said, Cancer, let's see what we've got going on for you in the month of October. 2024. Okay. Okay. There we go. Cancer is my rising sign, actually. So let's see. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups can be an energy of contemplation. It can be a bit of procrastination, especially if we feel overwhelmed by all the possibilities in front of us. Um, it could be online work for a lot of you or online dating. Having a lot of options, giving yourself a lot of options could also be talks of the future or planning a future somehow. In the current situation, we have the King of Coins, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. No, it's not. It's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But for others of you, it could be a water sign because, you know, it came out. Um... So you could be talking to this person online, whether it's about a relationship or romantic interests, or it's about job opportunities, financial opportunities. Um, for some of you, this is a personal trainer or classes you're taking online. Ooh, in the challenge position, we have the Ace of Coins. So I feel like you're gonna have an opportunity here, Cancer. And there's not going to be a long time that you can think about it. Um, the challenge here is you're going to have to invest in something. Now, that means pay for a ticket um, or invest the time to sit down, write an application, put together a project, put together a presentation, um, spend the money to go see someone, spend the money to buy a house together, spend the money to buy them gifts. I don't know. Um, but it's more, it's more investment than gift, okay? And you're not going to have a long time to think about it with Seven of Cups. Let's keep going. And the foundation, judgment. Yeah, this is something. News, communication, notification that's coming your way. Now, it can be in the form of a second chance at something, and you didn't expect to have a second chance at something. It could be in the form of a reconciliation for some of you, or it could be in the form of being given another opportunity at a goal, right? Um, or it's if it's something that you've been waiting to hear back from or about, um, and it involves a new investment opportunity or a new job or a new way of making money or a new long-term stable dynamic, then that's what you're waiting for, contemplating, checking your email every day. Let's see. Recent past, we have the High Priestess. Yeah, I feel like there's been a time of waiting, a time of contemplation, a time of waiting to see what happens, waiting to see if they get back to you, waiting to see what they say. And it's to do with the ruling, with the decision, a judgment call, a second chance at something, a big opportunity, something being granted, approved, some sort of green light. On the mind, ooh, nice, we have the sun. Cancer, you got a great reading. And the sun is happiness, fulfillment, clarity, truth, enlightenment, again, um, getting what you want. It's a victory energy. Having the spotlight on you, asking you shall receive. What do you want? Talk about it and you'll have it. Um, this is a big fat yes answer. If you're wondering if something is worth the investment, and that's what you're ooing on and awing about, the sun in your reading is saying, yes, it is. It's worth the investment. And your intuition has been telling you that. It's just when you start overthinking it that it gets all messy and confusing. So let's see in the overall outcome and advice. 
we have the three of coins. So new job, promotion, collaboration, new team, new group, new community, taking a relationship to the next level. The Empress, Venus energy, Libra energy, growth, expansion, nurturing, love, receiving, and the Seven of Swords. Seven of Cups with the Seven of Swords in your reading talks about self-sabotage. Be mindful of self-sabotage, okay? Um, if you're getting something, don't look at it and, and, I mean, of course, it's okay to check, ask some questions, double check some facts, but don't pick something into oblivion. Do you know what I mean? Don't pick at every single thing or don't ask the same question. You're, they're giving you an answer. The answer checks out and yet you keep ans asking the question. Um, that's a form of sabotage that because you're afraid of making the wrong choice you keep looking for confirmation when you've already had confirmation so if something's coming your way double check it yes review paperwork ask for it to be put in writing make it official absolutely get someone's second opinion ask a, a lawyer to look at it whatever the situation is but once you have the clarity that yes it's good, good to go. Then it's time to stop looking for it, for the confirmation, stop asking for the confirmation. Stop going, but are you really sure? Yes, are you, yeah, okay, cool. Half an hour later you're going, are you really sure though? Yes, we said yes, right? An hour later you're going, seriously though, are you sure? Because I'm not, I don't know if you've considered this and that and the other, are you sure, sure? don't do that to yourself that's a form of procrastination and it comes from the fear of making the wrong choice because this is a big commitment that you would be making all right so it's understandable but it's important that we stay in the realm of reality king of pentacles ace of pentacles what does that mean it means get emotions in check okay ask the questions get the truth get the facts get them confirmed by a lawyer by an external party whatever the situation is and then just take a deep breath and embrace it all right, is the message here. Page of one, see, you've got great news coming with the world. Celebration, recognition, what you wanted, what you were hoping for. And it's something that you've been waiting for or contemplating for quite some time and not really taking action towards. So if this is you contemplating, should you pursue something? Should you apply for something? Should you spend the money to get that lawyer's opinion so that it can help you draft the paperwork? Do you see what I mean? And the answer is yes. With judgment and the sun in your reading. Whatever your intuition is telling you, yes. Okay? Whatever you've been hoping for, waiting on, it's coming. And it's important to embrace it, accept it, and just get going with it. As opposed to second-guessing, doubting, because that's a form of sabotage. Alright? And it's important to, to be aware of that. Okay, but this is pretty cool. Let me get one more card on the Seven of Swords just to make sure that I got the messages. Yeah, look, four coins. Yeah, definitely. Don't be afraid of change. Don't be afraid of losing things. Don't be afraid of making the wrong investment. Don't be afraid of growth, Cancer. Don't be afraid of growth. You're good. You're going to be good. You can trust this. Trust yourself, the guidance you're getting, the confirmations you're getting. And if that's not enough, get a lawyer to look at it, get another person to look at it, get a second opinion. But once everything checks out, just take a deep breath and go with it. All right. So let me know what this is for you. Um, I really hope it helps. OK, I'm looking forward to your thoughts, looking forward to your feedback. If you want me to keep doing this, let me know. Have a fantastic month and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.